Hey there, folks. In this video, we're going to be trying to solve this interesting system of equations where we have x plus 1 over x equals y, y plus 1 over y equals z, and z plus 1 over z equals x. So we're supposed to solve for x, y, and z, but before we do that, please consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos. So let's go ahead and start with the fact that x, y, and z cannot equal to zero because all of them are in the denominators. So that means that we have two cases for the value of x. So x can be positive or x can be negative. So first, let's go ahead and talk about the first scenario where x is positive. So if x is positive, that means that x plus 1 over x is going to be positive. But notice that x plus 1 over x is y, so that means that y is going to be positive. And whenever y is positive, we can say that y plus 1 over y is positive. And since y plus 1 over y is z, that means that z is going to be positive. So whenever x is positive, both y and z are going to be positive. Great. Next, notice that whenever x is positive, we can go ahead and say that x plus 1 over x is greater than x. But remember that x plus 1 over x is y, so that means that y is going to be greater than x. And then notice that x is z plus 1 over z, right? So I can say that y is greater than z plus 1 over z. Next, notice that z is y plus 1 over y. So we have y is greater than y plus 1 over y plus 1 over z. Next, let's go ahead and subtract y from both sides to get 0 is greater than 1 over y plus 1 over z. Now, notice that both y and z are positive. So that means that the sum of 1 over y and 1 over z is going to be positive and not negative. So this is impossible, and it means that we don't have any solution whenever x is positive. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the scenario where x is negative. So if x is negative, that means that x plus 1 over x is going to be negative. But remember that x plus 1 over x is y, so that means that y is going to be negative, and therefore, using the same argument, I can say that z is going to be negative as well. Next, notice that whenever x is negative, we can go ahead and say that x plus 1 over x is less than x. But remember that x plus 1 over x is y, so that means that y is going to be less than x. And then notice that x is z plus 1 over z, so that means that y is less than z plus 1 over z. Now we all know that z is y plus 1 over y, so we have y is less than y plus 1 over y plus 1 over z. So I'm going to subtract y from both sides to get 0 is less than 1 over y plus 1 over z. But remember that both y and z are negative, so y and z are negative, therefore 1 over y plus 1 over z must be negative and not positive. So this is impossible, and it means that we're not going to get any solution whenever x is negative. So we don't have any solution whenever x is positive, and we don't have any solution whenever x is negative. So we can't solve this system of equations because there is no solution to solve. Great. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.